All right, guys, um, I've got some fat from the local butcher. It's organic um, beef fat. And there's a kilogram in each bag and I pulled out of retirement this old slow cooker from the garage. And I'm gonna try purifying this um, beef fat and, um, and use it in my everyday life. Maybe even make some, um, some skincare or some sun cream or something out of it, but we're, we're gonna to have to see. Um, so I'm gonna get washing this up and uh, chopping that up and uh, I'm gonna gonna purify it. I've, I've got a good uh, method that I've found using water and, uh, and salt as well. So yeah, I'll show you how I get on. All right, so I've chopped it up. Um, having gone through this process, I'd, I would next time ask the butcher to dice it up for me, um, just to save a bit of effort and they're happy to do it. But this is uh, nice and clean now and um, all cubed up. One kilogram, um is enough to fill this pot for now so i'll i'll put that in storage either in the freezer or or in the fridge if i get through it and i'm going to put this in the garage because i've got no ventilation in a tiny kitchen i've got no ventilation in the kitchen there's a conservatory out there there's a utility room out there and there's barely enough well you can't really swing a cat in here <laughs> so uh i'll put it in the garage there's loads of ventilation oh by the way I'm going to add some uh, water and some salt and that's how you you help to purify it so here we go got some salt there's no caking agent in this it's only salt it's something to look for in the ing ingredients of your salt and um, I'm just gonna grab some some big pinches Maybe, maybe three big pinches and and this salt it pulls the impurities out uh, and into the water that you put in so can I do that up with one hand just about there we go and then I haven't done this before so I'm just gonna try it with uh, yeah this is a, a glass I like to use I'll just put I don't know three of them in I don't think it, it, it particularly matters make sure it, it runs cold in this house because the, the hot water tank not the cleanest of water cold fresh water right warm up to the top we'll try it with two It easily separates, by the way. Oh yeah, that, you can see the water line has come up to there. So, maybe a bit too much water, but we'll, we'll see. Um, might tip a, a little bit out to make it one and a half. But anyway, I'm gonna put this on in the garage and um, show you what we end up getting. And there's it, it a couple of, Got to do this two or three times to, to purify it. So I'll show you the, the different processes. It's quite easy. All right, I've set it up in the garage. So we'll, we'll just go through into here. That's my setup, I'm quite happy with that. And um, I've, I've put my my workbench, my, it's black and nice Black & Decker workbench. I've put that up so that I've got a bit of a table to put it on and it's at the back of the garage so it's out of the way. Um, just plugged into this extension. I think it's yeah. I've put it on, but I think it's going to take a little while to heat up. I think I can feel a little bit of heat. We'll see, but we'll check on this um, periodically, and I can't wait to see the results at the end of this because I've never done it before. Uh, but I've done a lot of research, so this should be um, this should be looking really, really nice and white. The tallow at the end of it, and I can use it for cooking, um, which is incredibly important. Um, of course to avoid uh, those seed oils and all right guys so quick update um, it's been simmering away the sun's going down a bit so I'll just um, show you what's going on it's bubbling away it's probably been about three hours and um, yeah we're making fat it's still a long way to go though so I'd say it probably needs at least another three hours if not more 
So we'll see how that is by the end of the night, really. Um, yeah. So I'll report back total time it takes, but it's on high. Um, we've got our water and our salt in there for the for, for the initial purification, but it's going to need some more purifying. So I'll keep you up to date with how that all works and what this ends up looking like. All right, guys, it's the next day, and actually last night I I did some processing, so I'll, sh I'll show you what I did. Uh, it was pretty late last night, so it had about seven hours. And uh, look, check this out: the top layer is fat and uh, the bottom layer is water with the impurities. It looks amazing. It looks really white. Um, this is the, the fat that didn't quite render. So a, a fair old amount, and I might weigh some of this stuff um, just to see what sort of a yield we're getting. Um, but it, I just um, ladled uh, the fat and the liquid out and, and used this fine mesh sieve. It's not massively fine, so I, I could potentially do with using some cheesecloth as, as well, or like um, some muslin. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll take this into the kitchen, have a little clean up, and then um, show you some yields and weights. And then we're going to go through another uh, purification process to get it really nice and white and pure, and get that any um, chance of a, a beef smell uh, away from it, okay? All right, so I'm in the kitchen. And um, this is the, the the fat that didn't render after about seven hours. So I'll just um, I'll just zero the scales. There we go, and then put it down. Um, wow! So that's <laughs> ooh, 665, 666 grams. So we've we've got so that we started off with a kilogram of fat. So we've had literally a third. 333, 334 grams of tallow come out. So I probably will save this fat and give it another go round and just see if that brings out any more fat and what sort of yield that would bring. Um, and I'll go and get the, um, the rendered stuff and see what we've got. Okay, so this is the uh, the bowl of tallow and if if you have a look you can sort of see the levels of where the fat is and because it's a flexible bowl it will just pop out <laughs> so it'll just pop out there we go so we've got a disc of purified tallow and it doesn't look too bad actually um, there's a little bit of impurity on the bottom so what I've seen people do is scrape this off and then put it back into the purification process with more water and salt. So we'll do that um, in here. And yeah, you can feel a bit of fat at the bottom, but it's just a bit of a murky, sort of gloopy water, really. It reminds me of, I don't know, like wallpaper paste or something like that. So I'll get rid of this, scrape this, and let's start again. There we go, I've got a knife and um, if you can hear a machine in the background, that's the dishwasher just running away. So you can give it a scrape, all this loose stuff at the bottom, and that does help to get rid of some of the impurities that form at the bottom where it's where it meets the water. And it's the water that's taking out the impurities. Oh, this is looking really nice. I'm surprised at how, how um, white it's come up, but we'll try the process again and see if we can get a better colour. It's still a bit of, it's a bit yellowy, but it's, it's organic beef fat, so this is really, really nice stuff. And there's nothing to stop me putting that back through the, the process with the rest of the fat. that's for another day.
and I may as well cut it up. There we go. So I'm just going to wash up the the crock pot or the, the slow cooker or whatever you call it and um, and all the other stuff so I can get everything clean and we can get off to a clean start and then I'll, I'll put that fat in and start it off again and, and show you the results later. Okay, so everything's nice and clean. I'll put this fat in. Nice quite pure tallow already and I've realized that you can you can just put plenty of water in like um, from earlier in the video when I wasn't sure and tipped a bit out that would have been fine actually it doesn't really expand so what you see there in the crock pot it's not going to expand and overflow if that makes any sense I'm going to grab some more salt again no caking agents just pure sea salt plenty of salt. This all gets dissolved in the water so you're not going to get it in your final tallow and um, yeah three big pinches before worked quite well so I'll do the same and then as much water as you like really but the, the more water you use the more dilute the effect of the salt will have so just um, So that's one cup, and then I, I think I'll go with two, just for no particular reason. That's just what I did before. Actually, one and a half. Let's let's go with that. So I'll just put that on. Um, Try and carry the tripod and the camera at the same time rather awkwardly. <laughs> Follow me through. I want to get through doorways with a tripod. All for you guys so you can see this process. It's pretty easy so far. I highly recommend if you've got a garage. I know not, not everyone does, but if you've got a space where you can just sort of set up a table and plug it in, put it on height, even in a shed or something, I don't know. But if you, if you can do that in a separate area that's not going to get in the way, it's it's so much easier because I was able to just leave all that mess overnight. I was able to strain it and just leave it uh, and then deal with it in the morning. So we'll come back and we'll have a look at that. And it's going to be um, more pure and just see how white we can get it. But it may have a natural yellow colour. We're not sure yet what, what its natural colour will be, which will be interesting to see. All right, guys, back in the base in the carriage, and uh, don't have a basement. This is um, where we're at too. So it's been simmering for maybe a couple of hours. Halfway through, I've given it a stir through, and uh, I'm just going to turn that off now. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit, just so it stops simmering and and isn't so red hot. Uh, so I'm not, not really sure what temperature these things go up to. Um, but I've uh, made a killer discovery. I, I, I've done some winemaking in the past and I've got some really fresh muslin ba um, bags that I can use to to filter. And I've got a, a funnel as well that I can put it in. And I, I even found this little thing. But I think my, my metal one I used earlier is better. So it's always good to keep stuff, but, but organised as well. Um, so we'll we'll strain that in... A few minutes and then we'll leave it to cool and see what what it's looking like okay I brought it through into the kitchen because we've got a bit slightly better light and uh, I've put this bag over the filter it's a bit big uh, but it should work and just move everything a bit closer it's going to ladle Liquid in. Okay, oh, that's interesting. 
how it looks when it goes through. So it's water and fat that I'm collecting here. And it will separate out like it did before. So I'll have a, hopefully a beautiful white layer. And I think while it's doing so, it will, the water will bring the pure, draw the impurities out of the, of the tallow. It's, there's a very yellow uh, look to it at the moment, I'll show you. And I'll need to, I don't know if I can do this one-handed, just because it's an awkward shape to pick up, but it's, it's very hot, this bowl still. Yeah, I'll, I'll need to work out how to do that. But I'll just pick it up and pour it through the rest of it. There we go, I've worked it out, a towel uh, will do the job, which means I can get that firm grip on it. And it's interesting looking at the at this inside this filter bag, whatever you'd call it, the muslin. There's not a lot of debris being caught, so it's very pure. That first process really takes out a lot of the solid lumps. Just wait for that to finish dripping and then I'll show you. So if you look in there. That is it, just the odd little bit and quite a few little speckles in there that you might not be able to see. And turn it into the light. So just filtering out a few tiny little particles there and um, what I'll do, just put that in there, get everything cleaned up again and I'll, I'll show you what it ends up looking like. So we've got, you can already see where it's it's split out. It's a really yellow colour. Look at that. That's really interesting. But it's gonna it's gonna solidify and it's gonna turn white. So yeah, we'll wait for that when it happens, and we'll we'll see what we we have next, and if it needs another um, stage of the purification process, or if it's just usable. All right, guys. I've just um, shaved my head. So uh, anyway, that's why I look a bit different. Let's have a look at the beef. I caught it at just the right point where it's starting to go white. So this is the fat layer on the top, and then that's the water, and that that's how how, how many impurities, how how much of a an effectiveness of impurities it's it's getting out of the fat, and it, it's difficult to tell at this stage. But it looks pretty murky, that water. And it's interesting, can you see these things going in that are slowly turning white? That And the, the white ring around the edge. And that's what it will look like. So it's just slowly, slowly solidifying and um, turning into that white fat again. And I, I think um, sort of smelling it when it's really warm, it does smell a bit beefy. So I'll, I'll probably put it through another another purification process but it's taking a little while to dry um, to cool down even in a cold garage on a cold day and it's an un unheated garage so and then I, I've got to go and get the go to get the boys swimming lessons I, I've got no more time left today so we'll pick it up tomorrow um, just a quick update I just looked in and um, look it's fully solidified well maybe not fully because it's only <clears throat> It's only actually about half an hour since the last video, so it goes quick. Once it starts to go white, it goes quick, especially if it's really cold, like in this garage. So yeah, anyway, literally going out the door in 10 minutes, so we'll look at that later tonight or tomorrow. All right, um, so I put in the rest of the fats, you know, the leftovers that didn't render, and it's been on low, um, and here's the, we're going to check out this process stuff and we'll, we'll see what sort of yield we get in with that stuff that was still two-thirds of a kilogram wasn't it that hadn't rendered um i'll just show you through here what this is going to look like 
Okay, so we stretch the bowl a bit to bring it out. There we go. And there's the disc. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say there's not a lot of impurity in there and the water is actually quite clear. Uh, so I'll, I'll scrape off the top and see if it's any different in colour, but I think that might be it actually. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any marked difference in colour, so I think that's our, our tallow rendered. So I'll chop that up and, and put it in a, a Tupperware container just to hold in the fridge um, in the short term. Okay, we'll weigh it out and see what sort of yield we get. We'll slice it up. Yeah, we'll just do it into quarters. So this confuses me a bit because it says we've got 537 grams, but we started off with we started off with a kilogram of fat, and we, we've still got two thirds of a kilogram, 666 grams, cooking down. So I don't know if it's taken on a bit of water or if I just trusted it was a kilogram to start with and next time I should just weigh it. But anyway, that's a big, big old yield, um, 537 grams. That's a lot of tallow and it's all uh, purified. So I just have to decide what to do with it next. Just a slight correction for the end. Um, it's 475 grams, which is just under half a kilo. I, I didn't tear off the uh, the weight of the container. So 475 grams, just under half a kilo, and then I've got more cooking. So, um, all right, well, let me know if this has been interesting and uh, if you want to see any more of this. <laughs>